cat, he's a cat, he's a cat, he's a cat. Oh, look how beautiful he is. That's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, what is that? You see his face? Be free! What you need for a zombie apocalypse. I know there's a lot of videos out there already about zombie apocalypse and anything, but for me, I'm really obsessed with it. That I'm so obsessed that even at work, I told everybody my plan if a zombie apocalypse were to break out while we were working. I told everyone that. And I figured, why not tell everyone my plan? So I'm gonna say my plan if I were at work. And since I have a husband, I told him my plan too. And we kind of, you know, it's an emergency plan. So we have to talk about it. So I'm at work. I work at a mall and it's downtown so I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty crazy if it was a zombie apocalypse. Since I work at a chocolate factory, we don't have much weapons. We do have an apple cutter that's like like this, like this long and it's pretty sharp but I don't know if that would kill, <laughs> necessarily kill freshly new zombies. It's better than nothing, so I would use that or a hammer or something like that. In a mall, there's a dick sporting good, and I'm like, I am gonna book it down there. If I were to walk, I'd run down there. If I took my bike, I'm probably gonna take my bike down there and quickly lock it up because I know people are gonna be struggling and the wrong thing to do is try to run for their cars because everyone else is gonna try to get out and then they're gonna turn into zombies because they're gonna be eaten. That's my plan, go to Dick's Sporting Goods and generally around the time I'm working, my husband is working. So our plan of action is that we would meet at Dick's Sporting Goods within 30 minutes to an hour depending if he's here at home or he's at work. So I will be there and I would just start grabbing like backpack, like a huge backpack and start putting everything in there because I'm pretty sure everyone else is gonna start taking things. But they're gonna be taking the unnecessary stuff, if that makes sense. So I I already know what I need to bring. Sleeping bag, flashlights, matches, mm -hmm. a tent, you know, like going along with a sleeping bag. If I can't fit that, sleeping bag is fine. Probably a weapon, something that I could use, not like a bow and arrow because I don't know how to use that and I don't have time to learn how to use it. Nor do I know how to use a gun. So I'd probably go with melee, like flying a freaking like, knife or <laughs> sword or something. There's hair like all over me. I just go melee. I would try to buff up while I'm there, while I'm waiting for my husband. Um, something else is like water bottles. I can't like, you know, the actual bottles that don't have water in it, but you have to fill it up. I would get a couple of those, maybe just two for my husband and I. Cause I told him that during the whole process of everyone freaking out and stuff, I'm gonna be gathering everything. I go to Dick's Sporting Goods. With oh, I would feel so bad because Mr. Chopper. <laughs> what are we gonna do with Mr. Chopper? I'd probably um, tell Mario to, we probably would get him. Cause I would feel so bad if he were to be alone and zombie apocalypse land. And I would stock up on energy stuff, not energy drinks, just like snacks. Because if we don't have, we don't have a vehicle, then it's, we're going to be doing a lot of running and walking. So like marathon runners do, they have those like jelly candy bars or whatever they are. So that's some things I would grab also. And if I find a first aid kit, that's probably what I'm going to grab too. If my husband and I were at home or I was at home and this was happening, I would stay here. I would not risk my life going out there, finding my husband, and then just like, that's the end of that. So I would stay here and I would barricade and I would try to get in contact with my husband if he were at work. And if there's no contact, I'm going to be staying put. No matter if he's alive or dead, which he'll probably still be alive because he's pretty awesome. Stay here, barricade the door, the windows. Probably have Mr. Chopper in this room. Close all the windows and try to not make any noise. But I will also start packing just in case 
um, we will have to go. We will be ready. So I will start packing. We have a lot of canned food. Pack those, gallons of water, and pack those also. We have suitcases. We could probably use them as backpacks, make them somehow like a backpack. First aid kit, we have some first aid kit. We, we need to update it, <laughs> but I, I'm CPR certified. So that's good for a zombie apocalypse. If you're not CPR certified, I would take those like three hours to be because it's totally worth it. Whether zombie apocalypse or not, you're gonna be ready. If there's, you would know what to do in a certain situation, say in real life. That's something I would do. Oh, sorry, text message. I don't know what you guys are planning, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be a zombie apocalypse. But just in case, I have that plan, and I like to be ready for anything. <laughs> so if you don't have one right now, I recommend just planning it out and make sure you know what everyone in your family is gonna be doing and who is in charge of what, like who's in charge of getting the food and the clothes. And I wouldn't try to stock up on clothes either. Just if it's in the middle of winter, worry about your coat, eh, your coat. Um, if you're living in a climate where it's where there is a winter, worry about your coat. I would just stock up on just one coat that is really sturdy and a good pair of pants and shoes. You, shoes are important too. You don't want shoes to have holes in them in the middle of winter. You're gonna want some sturdy boots. I have snow boots and I think those are pretty sturdy. You're gonna have to worry about hygiene because you don't wanna get an infection. And the most important one is to really keep your humanity. When I've seen, and whoever watches The Walking Dead, I've realized, you know, in the beginning, it was the zombies that were a threat. And then later on, it became other people. And then I was just more of they're not really scared of zombies anymore. They're more scared of people they come in contact. That's something you're going to want to really think about in a zombie apocalypse situation. There's going to be people out there that seriously are going to be mental and all that. And there's going to be people that want to help and increase and make your community or whatever. In the end, what's important is survival. So you really have to think about you and your family and protection and everything. What's the easiest way to survive? So that's my thing. I know I've always talked about zombie apocalypse and whenever I'm walking with someone I'm like okay zombie apocalypse happen is happening right now zombies are coming from in front of us what do you do that's kind of the things I like to say just so you know always prepared and I always have a way in being like okay first thing I would do is go the other direction if there's zombies over there uh, find a sanctuary or something find a weapon and barricade or something go to the roof it's just all about preparation and that's what I've been taught through you know studying zombies and watching all these movies and shows so I hope you like this video <laughs> it's pretty interesting and pretty random that I'm talking about zombie apocalypse but I figure since it's you know Walking Dead ended and we don't have we can't see the next season until fall I figured why not say my escape plan, my survival plan, and encourage others to do so. And like I said, it doesn't have to only be for zombie apocalypse. What if there's a fire? What if there's an earthquake or a tornado? You always have to be prepared and that's what I learned in first aid and watching all these movies. Some people were just not prepared. So I'll stock up on first aid, canned foods, food storage, whatever you guys want to do, learn CPR, first aid, pretty easy classes. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, right? <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and cool beans.